Disclaimer, this video is a tutorial on my Marketplace asset, now available on the Epic Games Marketplace. For anyone interested, there is a link in the description to find it. What is going on everyone? In this tutorial we are going to be combining the flexible combat system ranged and the flexible combat system melee. It is important to note that if you've made a large amount of changes to one of these assets, you may run into some issues that don't occur in this tutorial. However, I have made the combination as simple as possible and if you've got a decent understanding of Unreal Engine, you should have no problem fixing any issues that come up. The main thing to make sure is that you haven't deleted any of the empty blueprints I left in the melee pack and you haven't renamed them. It is also important to note that in this tutorial we will be migrating the ranged asset into the melee asset as the melee asset is set up to receive copied functionality. This was stated on the ranged marketplace asset page. And finally, I have a list of all the changes that are done in this video. If a list of changes might help you, be sure to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, let's get into it. The first thing we are going to need is both assets created in two projects. So if you don't have two projects with these assets, please create them now. When you're ready, open up the file explorer for both projects. We're going to be copying some files over from the ranged asset to the melee asset, so please double check the file path when you're copy pasting, they need to be the same. Okay, so let's go to content, flexible combat system, meshes, and let's copy the arrow folder into the same path for the melee. From this point onwards, I'm going to be skipping the part where I open up the folder on both explorers. So just pause the video after each copy. Now let's hop into character related and copy over the ranger set. Then let's go back and go into general and copy over the quiver mesh. Back again, into weapons, let's copy paste the bow folder in. Now back to flexible combat system, let's go sound effects and copy all of the range sounds. Back again into VFX, copy all the ranged VFX over. Now go back and jump into animation folder, copy and paste the bow folder in. Now we're going to go to the demo folder and copy paste this animation folder in. These animations already exist in the, the melee asset in the common animation folder, but the Epic Games reviewer for the ranged asset made me move them here and the melee reviewer didn't. Then let's go back, jump into maps and copy the ranged map and the build data in. Back again into widgets, textures, icons, copy all the textures and click yes to replace the melee ones. Then back again into camera shakes, copy the arrow execute and draw bow camera shakes. Then back and into blueprints, AI, tasks, combat tasks, and copy the draw arrow, fire arrow, and projectile shot available tasks. Now let's go back and jump into data tables. Copy the ranged asset folder and paste that in. Then go into dialog and copy the ranged training over. Then go back and jump into components. Now we're going to replace the range component and the arrow component. Just copy and paste and click yes to replace. Go back again and jump into blueprints, items, pick up items. We're going to replace the arrow quiver parent, arrow quiver AI and BP bow. Then let's go back into items and jump into arrows. Copy and replace all of these. And that is all the file copying done. 
When the files are all copied over, we then need to open up both projects. Now we're going to copy paste some nodes from the range project over to the melee one. First in blueprints, AI, tasks, combat tasks, open up the draw arrow, fire arrow, projectile shot available, and attempt shot. Sometimes Unreal Engine just needs a little jog that these copies exist after they've been pasted. Now let's go back to AI, behavior trees, and let's open up the mixed combat behavior tree in both projects. And copy the ranged functionality over. Make sure when you paste it in it looks like this, otherwise just manually bring in those tasks by typing them. If they're not appearing, just make sure after pasting them in the project, you've opened them up. Plug this in coming off the root underneath the melee functionality. Now hop into the setting AI behavior service. Again, we're going to copy the ranged functionality in. Then for the output, plug it into ranged. Now hop into the combat status component under the blueprints folder under blueprints components. Jump into the set anim output and for the draw and sheath weapon put draw bow and sheath bow. Then hop into the draw weapon sound delay macro and set the sound to equip and draw bow for the ranged. Then hop into the sheath macro and put in the same. Now we need to copy over the switch functionality nodes. I actually made a mistake here when splitting the asset up and deleted these nodes rather than just unplugging them. But I have a link in the description you can use to copy paste the functionality directly in. Just open it up, select all the nodes, control C and control V to paste it in. If you have any issues, feel free to just reproduce these nodes yourself. They all exist in the project, just bring them in. Then hop into the player animation blueprint and jump into the anim graph. Copy the bow state from the range project and paste it into the melee one. Then connect it up to the bow pose. Then do the same for the bow aiming state and connect it into the bow aiming true pose. Now, select both of these pasted in states and copy them. Then hop into our AI ABP. Paste them in and move them into the same places as the previous animation blueprint, then connect them up. Now jump into the BP enemy AI under blueprints AI. Hop into the setup weapon function and we're going to set the range over to 400. This will be the melee range if the ranger switches to melee combat. Let's set the ranged enum output back over to the ranged weapons and under variables setup in game let's set our custom arrows variable back to instance editable and expose on spawn. Now back into blueprints, let's open up our player character and let's copy paste the functionality back in. And connect it all up. Now Let's go blueprints, AI, AI controller. Then let's copy paste 
all the madness functionality back in. Now let's go blueprints, components, and hop into the taking damage component. Let's delete all the comments apart from the polymorph one, and let's copy paste all this functionality back in. It's getting confused thinking our stop burn is a function rather than an event. So do nothing for the burn pop-up and right click refresh the two calling nodes. When that's all sorted, connect up the outputs. Now, let's hop into data tables, item data info. First, let's do the arrows. For each arrow, set the quiver mesh as the item mesh. And the corresponding arrow texture for each one. The ultimate arrow uses the magic arrow texture and the rest of the arrows can be found by typing arrow into the search bar. Next, for the weapon bow and magic weapon bow, under equipment info, let's add the bow skeletal mesh. And when that's done, let's add the bow texture for each one. And lastly, for our ranged equipment, under the equipment struct, put the corresponding armor piece. If you type archer, it will give you the full list of meshes. When that's done, add the textures. By typing ranger, it will give you the full list. And that is it for all the core functionality. There are a few more blueprints in the demo levels with things missing. These aren't very important, but the ones you might want to update are BP range character. All you need to do is copy over the functionality, add the meshes and animation blueprint for the mesh and the bow. And the range character in the arena. Simply copy this and all the meshes straight from the ranged asset and you'll be good to go. So my friends, that is it for me. Let me know in the comments or in the Discord if you've got any issues. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.